appreciate it, bro. Appreciate you for inviting me, man. No, of course. You have, you have so many things going on, bro. Like, you know, been following you for a minute. I was like, man, this this dude doesn't doesn't rest, man. Like, right. You on you on the radio, right? Uh huh. Yeah. Yep. Radio on Sundays. Sunday nights, every Sunday nights from seven to ten, um, Pacific uh, time, Las Vegas. Yeah, every Sunday night, seven to ten, Sin City have, Sundays. You have that. Uh, I saw your YouTube channel with the mod, uh, the, the the mod uh, cast you have, and. Uh, the mobcast. Yeah, um, we, got, we got a mobcast going on. Uh, it started off with uh, like reaction videos and mobcast. I think I think we're gonna we're gonna hold off on the, on the actual podcast section of it and just do a lot of reaction videos now. That'd be dope because it's, it's just five of y'all. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> and, um, and 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 really the 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 whole idea of it was because a lot of people fuck with me. Um, and it's just it's just tough being able to like just kind of network with people and shit because it's like well with, with the with the uh mob cast and the reaction videos allowed us to do was allow us to connect with so many different people so instead right. of like yo chris i'm trying to do something with you it, you know what i'm saying it's always awkward be like yeah come by you're trying to figure like oh you want to drink you want to you know, say sit down talk you want to listen to music now it's just like yo we got a podcast we got we do reaction videos every monday every wednesday pull up you know what I'm saying? And every every time we do it, it's like a party. Like, you know what I'm saying? Somebody buy drink, everybody smoke, you know what I'm saying? Whatever y'all do, you know what I'm saying? We go in and then we just and then we just have fun, you know? No, no that's dope because there's so many different personalities, of course, all five of y'all. Yeah, you know yeah, saying? yeah. Like, it's, and it's different every time. It's different yeah. every time. Yeah. It's just dope, dope as shit, bro. And then you also do music as well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's so the- you got the last shit going on that. So like you kind of vlogging a little bit, you know what I'm saying? So you go to Sam's Club and kind of just recording that. Yeah, oh, yeah, sick. man. I'm I'm doing everything I can just to just just to be out there, just trying to get get my name out there, get my face out there, get my get my uh, likelihood and, and, and likeliness out there. Let people know that a uh, motherfucker that look like me is out here doing things. You know what I mean? It's funny you say that because that's the biggest thing, right? Like the internet has allowed a lot of a lot of minorities to get in, right? Right, right, right. And, exactly. And to play in spaces that maybe we wouldn't have been recognized for. Mm-hmm, 100%. So, how, have you always been this kind of person that, that always grinded out, or did you have to find this person in you? Absolutely, I've always been this type of person since I was young. Um, I just like when I was young, I just always like I felt I was just destined for some, you know, what I'm saying some some like big shit, some great shit. You know what I mean? Like, of course, when like younger, on, only way to do that was TV and movies. You know what yeah. I mean? Type of shit. You know what I mean? So, um. I just felt, you know, I, I've always had that spark, you know what I mean? I don't know if it was my mom telling me and egging me on, like, you're going to be great, Chris, right. or, or it, it was just me, but I've always had that, you know? No, that's what's up, because, again, like, you know, minorities are on the rise, all, all, all over, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and the, the communities we have are, are rich in culture. Right. But they don't get to be displayed that way. Mm-hmm. And I think hip-hop is a great kind of vehicle to show that, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't have to be Absolutely. just a hold to just one thing. Absolutely. You know? And you can be who you are, represent your people, and still be mm-hmm. dope as fuck. You know, yeah. and I think a lot of people tend to not focus on that. But then you have a group of people who do. Like you shouldn't be want to be someone else than what you are, right? And exactly to ha- have a deep history, you should fuck with that. Absolutely, absolutely. And I'm really doing it for, you know, uh, you know, the just for one, you know, me as man, as a person, as a young man in in, in America trying to come up, you know, but, and then two, regardless, you can't, you can't elude the fact that I look this way, you know what I'm saying? I, you know what I mean? Like when I was growing up, it was like, it, it was trying to, it was hard to like, you know, find our identity and type of shit. But I feel I represent that be whoever the fuck you want to be, you know what I mean? Like, and then, and then within that, um, just don't forget where you come from. And it gives you the confidence when, when you're like, when you got the confidence to be whoever you are, um, you just let that, you know, let that unfold like all the way through, you know. And I feel like I, I represent that, you know. Have you ever thought of? At least for me, I feel like I was never Hispanic enough. I'm Puerto Rican from Brooklyn. I don't speak Spanish, right? Right, right, but right, right. I was, but then I wasn't American enough either. So I was right. kind of was in this lost world. Well, what, who do I belong to? <laughs> right, 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 right. No, no, I, I feel the same way. I'm, I'm, I'm a Filipino. Um, I, but I even say I call myself a Trilipino because you know it's, it's like it's, it's a different, it's a different vibe between me and you know, a, you know, a, you know, a regular Filipino. 
because right. it, that's where I find my own identity. Like, like at the end of the day, I'm still Filipino. I still, you know, know my roots and shit like that. But, but at the end of the day, I still grew up in America. I still right. grew up. I still grew up here. So, um, it's 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 a. I feel it's a. It's a journey that we're all still we're, we're all still traveling. You know what I mean? And we'll, and we'll figure it out, you know, as long as we all have confidence. And as long as we still, you know, respect uh, our, our differences, but yet, you know, like still realize that we're all the same. And, and, you know, when it comes down to it, I think I think as long as we have that communication with, with everybody, I mean, it, it'll be all right, man. <laughs> yeah. Where, once people know that, listen, you're fucking with someone that's dope. That's what you need to know. That's Yeah, exactly. And that, that's really it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, yeah. I, I, I don't know how shitty people. No matter who you are, yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. My biggest thing is just vibes, man. My my thing is just vibes and energy and type of shit because you can go to any race, in any culture, anything. If your vibes is fucked up, you're gonna feel it anyway. You know what I mean? And if they if you got good energy, then you know what I'm saying, you, you're gonna feel the good energy regardless, you know. No, absolutely. So how did you um get into radio? How did that happen? So basically, um at so I want to. So my main my main goal is to be a rapper, to be an artist, to be a, uh, to run my own label. Right. Um, and like like my 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 main goal is to be the artist, but to be like the CEO artist. Like I want to you know right. control my own destiny. Um, so um, um, I was going back and forth from from Vegas. Well, actually, my parents moved to to Las Vegas. Um, I was still in Cali. Hang out. Um, um, so, um, what was that? I lost track? Uh, how you guys the radio biz? You said your family, your family's still in Cali. You moved to Vegas. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm trying to figure out how to be an artist because there's no, there's no classes you could, well, there's classes, but there's no like guideline that you could take to be, all right, all right you're going to be a rapper or you, you're going to do this or you, you're going to do that. So the, the one thing I learned is just get into the business somehow, some way, somehow. So I'm going back and forth from Cali to Vegas. My cousin is trying to get a job at the time. I, I roll with my cousin. And then we actually passed by Hot 97.5 because Hot 97.5 is on the Las Vegas Strip. Okay. So I'm like, I'm like, yo, cuz, like, just pull up right here. Pull up right here. Let's go up in there. Let's, let's look for a job here. Go into the radio station. I just go, I'm like, yo, what's up? I'm trying to get a job here, blah, blah, blah. I'm, you know what I'm saying? Young, wide-eyed, like, ready to go. <laughs> you know, whatever y'all want me to do. And then and then also what I learned is, like, get an internship. Do whatever, you, like, work for free. Just get into the building of the music business. And that's the best way to learn. So I'm like, yeah, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to work here. I'll intern, whatever the fuck you want me to do. It's all good. Then, boom, they actually call me the next day. And then they offer me a position on the street team. That's like the, you know what I'm saying? You're basically yeah, working yeah, for you, um, um, the type of shit. And I'm like, yo, I still live in Cali. I'm still going to school in Cali because I was taking like business classes. I was going to school out there. Um, but I can come, I can come back and forth every other week. So, and that's that that began the routine. So every other week I would come out here on the weekends, um, work street team shit, go back to Cali and do that shit on and on. And then um, they eventually just offered me a position, a full-time position on air. Um, and I took it and then I moved out here. So that's and insane, man. Both of the team to be right on air. Yeah. That's yeah, huge. yeah. 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 So, and you know, I just, I, I just busted my ass and did everything possible that, that you could do, like, um, um, to, to work on my way up the ladder on the radio. So, yeah. And then, uh, yeah, yeah. So I did that. And then as I rose to the top of the radio and then I got to the point where I was like, okay, I got to make a decision um, because Vegas is a small market. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, we're like a small market. So on radio, you got to be in a bigger market, market to, you know, eventually get better and shit like that. So LA, New York, you know, Miami type, type shit. But I, I made a decision. I was like, yo, I, I didn't come here like to do radio. I came here to be an artist. I came, so I learned the game. So I took a step back from all, all the radio shit I just started focus on on building, you know, you know, my company, and my music ability and shit like that. But I've learned so many uh, priceless uh, lessons through the radio that, you know, that I'm forever grateful for. And so that's why I have one show on the weekend, you know, what I'm saying Sunday, um, because, you know, I, st I still got to, you know, you know, uh, keep with the basics, I guess, whatever, you know, you know. No, that, that's that's fire, bro, because you give yourself an education. And like mm -hmm. you said, you're willing to do it for free. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's and the biggest It's a trade-off. Yeah. There's no time for, for knowledge. And I think yeah. a, lot of us, a lot of us don't do that, right? So it's a matter of you you just kept on pushing through. But as as you decided to be an artist, that's your main focus. And you kind of navigated back to that. And you started your own company. What was, what was the steps you took? Like, when did you realize, say, you know what? I want to be an artist, but I also want to be this, this, and this as well. Because you can do more than one thing. You know what I'm saying? We're not right, taught right. that, but you can do more than one thing. So what's the, what's the question? As far as what, 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 what took you to that next step of running your own company? Running, running my own company? It was just, um, it's just, I, I, I wasn't, uh, I wasn't susceptible to, to the, to the dumb shit, to the sucker shit. Like, you know what I mean? Like, cause working at the radio station, I meet all kinds of like, you know, people in the industry type of shit. So if I put my hands in someone else, you know what I'm saying? And like, if someone else is making the business decisions for me, I got to kind of abide by that shit. So I, I felt like my art, artistry wasn't free to do what I wanted. You know what I'm saying? Because say if the, the motherfucker's running my business and, and he, he put up the money or whatever the fuck, uh, he could be like, I, I want to hear this sound or I want you to rap like this. You know what I'm saying? I want you to do this. Right. And I'd be like, nah, I really don't want to do that. But it, it's like, I, I couldn't like, I want to be my own artist. I want to be able to create freely you, you, you know what I mean and then um, the only way I was able to do that is if I started you know my own business and then I, as as the progression went on like we're going like and then you know everybody gets like their own little, little setup and then they, 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 they call themselves a company and then they, they, right. they do that you know what I mean but just just through time you know I, I went ahead and you know what I'm saying got the license got the insurance got you know what I'm saying got the business cards got you know what I'm saying got everything you needed just as as you progress in life and and my big thing about everything is uh progression you know um as long as I progress I feel I'm gonna say I feel good I feel happy I feel like I'm you know saying accomplishing something so that's how it the the, the business um started and it it came to be it, it started from me wanting to control my art artistry you know so and and and, that, and that's why and that's why uh I started doing the reaction videos and shit like that um, because I wanted another form where I could do like radio type shit, like basically control my own media because I'm, when I'm on the radio station, you know, yeah, I'm on Hot 97.5, you know what I'm saying, the number one radio station in Vegas, blah, blah, but still, I got to still abide by certain rules and guidelines and shit, you know what I'm saying, and if I don't abide by them, you know, I get in trouble, it's whatever. A it's, it's, it's a job. job, yeah, exactly, so now with my own my, my own forum, my own channel, I do whatever the fuck I want to do, you know what I mean, so, and, and I'm big on that, like, I'm big on just um, being able to control our destinies and just, you know, do the shit ourselves, you know, so. I you think yeah. the radio will give you the opportunity to really kind of present your, your personality in a different way? Absolutely. Well, with the with the opera, uh, the radio really um, shed light to this whole thing called fame. You know what I'm saying? This whole yeah. fame shit. You know what I mean? This whole, you know, uh, celebrity. It, it really just gave me the knowledge and wisdom about that whole shit. Because before I got on air, before I got on the radio, before you know, what I'm saying people heard me on the radio. I was on the street team. I was the same motherfucker on the street team. The same energy, you know what I'm saying? Same person, same Chris Cash, same guy, you, you know what I mean? But you know what I'm saying? Like, as soon as I got on air, <laughs> I was all of a sudden Chris Cash. Like, oh, shit, that's Chris Cash now. You know what I mean? Right, yeah, yeah. So yeah. It, it just, it just, it just like, oh, like, it just like was a fucking epiphany. Like, all, like at the end of the day, it's all entertainment. It's all, it's all, you know what I'm saying? It's all, it's all bullshit at the end of the day. But it's the, it's the business that I, that I choose to be in, and I, it's the game that I choose to play. So, I'm, a, I'm gonna learn how to play the game, and I'm gonna play it well, you know. So like you said earlier, it's like you know, the Vegas is a small market, but do you feel it makes sense because the way the internet is nowadays that there isn't such thing as a small market anymore? Because your exposure could be the same out of no matter what. So you can be in Midwest and still Absolutely. get the same exposure. Very true. If if um, as far as the internet goes, if, yeah. If, if my audience was the internet, see, and and that's the thing with the radio. Like, I have so many great ideas to make that radio station bigger than it is. You know what I mean? But I don't. You know what I mean? I don't. I don't know. Like, I don't own it. And why? Why? Because I used to bust my ass for the radio station and do everything I can to make the shit better. And at the end of the day, no, I really like that idea. It doesn't work. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? Because I didn't own it. I had no power. I had no control. So, yeah, like, like to, to be honest, if, if they were smart, they would ask me 
well, you know what I'm saying? They would pick my brain because, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I got the, I got the shit to, to, to make that shit, shit, shit go. But, you know, it's, the, you, you, you beat your head on the wall so many times, you're going to stop. You know what I'm saying? It's like, all right, fuck it, cool. That's just my card. I'm on 975. That just that gets me the stamp, the official. But I'm going to just do my own thing. You know what I mean? So Yeah, no doubt. That, that, that gives that leg up as far as recognition. You're going to yeah. be recognized. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like and to your point, if it's a job, keep it that way. Collect the check. Exactly. Yeah, this give you the, the, the autonomy to do whatever else you think you want. Right, right, right. right. It's usually for yeah. Because they're using you, right? They're using you. Hey, you got to be there every fucking Sunday. I know, I'm sure you don't want to be. <laughs> but you have <laughs> you got to fucking be there and make sure you collect that check. And there's nothing wrong with that, right? So it's like. Right, right. And then and then with the radio station, it's not even about the check, bro. It's just, it's just, it's really just about the stamp. Like, it's just really no, just. Exactly. It's just really like, because to be honest, like. The, the, Cause with me in this the station with the radio, uh, with the radio, I done got hired and fired like ten times. I done <laughs> at the radio station, like you know what I mean. Like, cause me, like the type of character, like I do whatever the fuck I want to do. Like I do what I want to do. I, you know what I'm saying? I'm real. Like I, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't, I don't about like I'm not good with you know just like falling in order. Just like you know what I'm saying? You gotta do this. I do this. Like I, you know what I'm saying? I have my own style, my flavor, and I feel I'm doing what's best. Or for me and the company, whatever, and sometimes we don't see eye to eye, fire me, hire me again, fire me, hire me again. It's, it's, it's whatever, you you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's still different when I go, hey, you know what I'm saying? I'm Chris Cash. I got a record label. I got a podcast. Okay, everybody has that. Everybody has that. Hey, I'm Chris Cash. I'm on Hot 97.5, the radio station in Las Vegas. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Cool. You know what I mean? So... Play the game, you know. So, so we decided to come up with the regular label. Um, how hard was it? Were you your own first artist, and how many artists yeah. you have now? Um, I was my own first artist. Um, um, and then now I have, including me, two, three, four, five, five artists, five artists. Yeah. And then uh, with with my label. I, I, I want to, I prided myself on artist development. Uh, so the past two years was really, the past two years in, in my studio space. So I got, I got a studio space like uh, right next to the strip. So my, literally my, my view is the Las Vegas strip, which gives me, you know, inspiration every time. Like, like, why, why the fuck am I doing this shit? Why do I show up to the office every day? That's my inspiration. You want to, you know what I'm saying? That Vegas life right. type shit. That's my inspiration. So the past two years was just make, basically Doing artist develop, development, just finding the artists that that work well, that have like good work ethic, and you know what I'm saying that 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 are good at teamwork. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, um, we're gonna like when when we build this shit and we go across the world and shit, like we're gonna go across the world as a unit, as a team. You know, right. and if yeah. if you're always fighting with your team, it's not you know what I mean. What the fuck, like what's the point of that? You know. No, you're right. How hard is it to find people who go work at it, bro? Um, I'm, it took two years for me to build. <laughs> 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 I told you, the last two years, I was, I was building a team. <laughs> yeah. No, it's yeah. and that's the thing. I going to let people know, like, if you're gonna be, a, if, you, if you're gonna be an artist, right? You have to love what you're doing. You just yeah. can't pick up the whole rapper's kit, put it on, right. and try to put a song on SoundCloud. Because SoundCloud right. is kind of over right now, right? It's, right. It's, not, it's not the newest thing no more. So, right. If you're gonna be a true artist, you need to like really like wake up and and fucking be writing, or wake up and be rapping, yeah. sleep and be writing and rapping, and you yeah. this become your fucking life. You waiting for the bus, you should be rapping. Why are you waiting for the bus? Right, like, right, right. You should be like honing your craft, and is that right? Yeah, yeah. So, so the, the last two years, like literally the last two years, I was in the studio every night, um, every night, and we were doing like three records a night, like. Every night, like a lot three, for a night, yeah. Three records a night, and the thing is, like, um, when I first started, of course, I had like 10, 15 artists that came by, you know what I mean? And but I, I show up every night, and then a new cat would show up, and then we get in, we do a song, new cat would show up, I get in, I do a song, and I just do that for the last two years, like just three records every night, and I, like, I, I pretty much anybody, like, on, on, on some like real like rap shit type shit, like. Anybody knew me in the city at the whole two years was like, do you rap? Yeah, I'm in the studio tonight. Pull up. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people will just be capping this shit like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where right. you at? Right. I'm in the studio. <laughs> I told you I'm here. Where you going to be tomorrow? I'm in the studio. Like, I'm in the studio. And I was just doing that for the last two years, honing my craft. 
and then uh, and then I went ahead and had a couple babies and shit, and now. <laughs> and, uh, Congrats! <laughs> thank you. So 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 my time is limited now, and now I have a fucking whole lot of uh, material um, loaded up. So now it's like okay, switch for me. This is me personally. Me switch from artist mode to business mode. So now I got I'm making the transition this year to uh you know do more business and making phone calls and lining up plays and getting these these records into um uh distributing like like giving yeah. play yeah. Get, getting these plays and it takes time to build that shit yourself you know what i mean it takes time to build and the thing is i'm building the whole infrastructure myself and i'm i'm creating a a, a media department within my my label so that that's how we started doing the youtube reaction videos because that's content that we're putting out and and I'm constantly researching and like like you're saying, shit changes all the time. Like like SoundCloud was was the thing, you know what I mean? Now it's something else, and then uh, next month it's gonna be something else. And it's the constant. You gotta constantly be on top of that. And that's most of my day to day is like that now. But of course, if like I'm saying, the studio's open every night. If somebody comes to the studio and they be like, yo, I got this record, and I'm bowing my head to it, I'm laying down the track in like 20 minutes, and it's, it's you know what I mean. It's going like I still try to, you know, keep that in me, you know. So does you think does does radio have an effect on music like it once did before? Like you need to have that hit single for that radio to go national, or is that kind of gone now? Um, yes and no. It's it's yes, it it helps and and but no, you don't have to have it. You, you know what I mean? Like there's there there's there's ton of tons of artists that that I like, that I personally like, or that do very well that we don't play on the radio, you know what I mean? And there's there's so, there's some artists that they get the record on the radio and they blow up, you, you know what I mean? So it's just, yeah. you know, it's, it's just different strokes, different folks. Like me personally, right now, I'm 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 on my radio campaign right now. So I, I, I picked the record that, that I wanted to, to, to fucking go with. So I got a new record called Million Views that, that I'm constantly pumping and pushing and 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 getting out there and i'm pushing to radio and, and then i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna get it onto radio um and and that's 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 my that's my strategy as of now because i just feel that it's gonna uh catapult everything but at the same time still doing my day-to-day -day shit um still running my label still doing the uh the, the still running the media department still doing the reaction videos running the day-to-day -day shit but i'm pushing for radio because i just feel that uh, that um, I'm I'm ready for it, or I just want to try it out. I want to see. I want to see. Uh, I want to see uh, how it's gonna go. You know. So you said right now because you have two little ones. I got nine kids, bro. Yeah, so. look at them. Uh, I'm trying to get ten. Yo, I'm trying to get ten kids, yo. And everybody look at me crazy, but I'm gonna no. tell. <laughs> Trust me, you fucking don't, bro. No, you don't fuck it. I I bro, I want them. I don't care. I, I, I want them. I don't care, brother. I'm gonna get ten. My dad, yeah, my, my, my dad I got, got the six. ranges from twenty three all the way to six year old twins, bro. Oh, uh, okay. I got the whole gambit, bro. Like it's, it's ridiculous, man. Like, yeah, yeah. Congrats. It's, it's, uh, it's not not congrats. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's no congrats, bro. They, they're horrible. They're horrible, man. They they need out of the house at home, man. I mean, uh, man, uh, I got to fucking buy. Shit. It's, it's, all, it's all good, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna build a village out here in in, in Vegas. <laughs> I'm gonna have a village out here, bro. <laughs> do it, the Chris Chris Cash Village, right there, man. You, 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 you got to understand, man. Vegas is a lot of undeveloped land, man. Like, <laughs> there's a lot of there's a lot of space out here, man. So I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and get it popping. <laughs> How does Vegas play its role in your business? You know what I'm saying, like. You said uh -huh. the small market like that, but um, yeah. is that going to be home base for a minute? Is yes, home base for a minute, absolutely, absolutely. I'm yeah, Vegas is, is the place. Like I'm from Cali, originally from Cali. I was born in Cali, so I got you know the West Coast Cali. You know what I'm saying? You know right. vibes and style and shit like that. But I learned the game in Vegas, bro. I learned I learned the game in Vegas. I it, the Vegas gave me the opportunity to, to see the game because because. Um, I, I know you say about like small market, big market. I used to always call Vegas like like the little big city because it's small, like population wise, small, but it's big because everybody comes to Vegas. Absolutely. So 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 to me, 
this this is a place for me, man. Like it's it's perfect for me. Like Vegas is for hustlers. Like if you a hustler, get it or or entrepreneur is the word now, I guess. You know what I mean? This 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 is the place. It, it ain't nothing but opportunity. Like because of this Vegas lifestyle, I was able to live the lifestyle. Like it it gave me shit to rap about. And like you know, what I'm saying like when I'm when I'm saying like I'm popping bottles with models. Like I'm no cap. I'm really <laughs> no cap. Like that's that's what I'm doing because it's right there. Like strip is right there and the strip is the creme de la creme of partying you know what i'm saying turning up fine women alcohol drugs all that shit you know yeah that's, yeah. that's what i did for a living you know what i mean so yeah yeah because oh, so so aside from the radio station i work the nightclubs so that so okay. so, so so yeah give me a, a, a little uh of, of my my I guess this is my education of, of, of my company I guess or just have my route because I worked the, the radio to learn the music business but then I worked the nightclubs to learn the uh, the lifestyle or the the live mu- the live music I guess whatever because I guess I just, or just the party because that they, they, they go hand in hand that type shit so um, I learned I learned both um avenues of shit you know so i know i'm very first on the whole club partying lifestyle type shit. yeah because djs play a lot in that, that lifestyle and yeah. you get your you get your music played by a dj i think it's, it's still prominent you know what i'm saying like absolutely. absolutely from back in the day when hip-hop started you know it was always a dj and the mc and a lot of times back in the day the dj was more famous than the mc was right right absolutely on time and then and that and that's that's definitely one thing um that that I preach to my artists all the time and shit like that or preach to just anybody not preach but just to say anybody like yo like because a lot of artists here are always trying to get like they're always trying to like holler at other artists like yo listen to my shit I'm like bro get your shit in the DJ's hand like you need to fuck yeah. with DJs like what the fuck are y'all doing like like I don't like I don't care if okay you're an artist but yet, when you do a show or 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 when you have a new record, you send it out to twenty artists. Like, like that 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 yeah. don't make sense to me, bro. Like, I tell everybody, like, yo, get your fans and get your DJ, or, or get your fans or get the DJ because the DJ spins the records to your fans. Like, yeah. or you know what I mean, type of shit. So, I'm like, just by by working radio, that concept right there is like ingrained ingrained in me. You know what yeah. I mean? Yo, do yeah. you feel that these cats are doing too many features? Because like you just said, you know, they're putting their music in too many artists, other artists' hands, and everybody wants to have a feature with somebody else. And then that whole album or the whole EP, mm-hmm. you, you don't even hear the cat because it's so, it's so feature-heavy. Like, right, they can't right, really right. hold down an actual gig on their own because they only got one fucking verse. Right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then, and then so, so I've been peeping like the whole feature game and shit. Like, it just... I feel... Is is a feature is 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 somewhat of a crutch for people. But people gotta people gotta understand the reason for a feature is so that you're an entity, you're an entity who has a bunch of fans, and you you can hold down yourself. And this guy is an entity, has fans, hold it down himself. So when y'all do a feature, your fans know him, and his fans know you. That should be the objective. Of doing a feature, you know, what I mean, it's a type of shit. A lot of times, it's just like, I just want to rap with somebody, or I just want to rap with somebody. Yeah, man, you know and, and like, that's how the song sounds too. Though it sounds like, yeah, someone sent a track through the fucking email. Yeah, the fucking Mac. They did their lyrics, sent it back. That was it. Like, you don't hear like the kind of old school where you can hear the vibes of the song that these guys were together and they were rewriting verses because this dude came up with his verse. Like, oh shit, I gotta rewrite my shit. Like. Uh-huh. Like, that's when you get the best fucking music. You know what I'm saying? Like, and right, right. A feature should just make sense because not because yeah. you're not with that person, but it, it makes sense sonically. Like, right, 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 right. Vibe, because it comes out in the music. You just if I mean yeah. you just vibe, and I say, yo, bro, I'm gonna send you a track. I want you to just bump on my shit. It's right, not gonna right. be really real. It's gonna sound probably hot. Don't get me wrong. Right, but it's right. Gonna, the vibe isn't gonna be there because we're not in the same fucking room together. Right, right, right. And and that's one thing I I I, I pride myself on. Um, I pride myself on, but I don't, I don't toot my horn too much on it. It's like, I feel like I'm, I'm a great uh, a record producer as far as putting that, because uh, uh, I feel a record producer isn't the guy just that makes the beat, bro. Like the record producer is putting the song together. Absolutely. Exactly. And what you just said, 
it's got to make sense. Like, and, and that's like, that's what I feel like I'm really great at making sense out of all this shit. Like, okay, if we're going to get on record or, or, or whatever, like what is going to, what is going to make sense? You know what I mean? And then, and then like, trust me, like with, with like with my studio, it's in the center of Vegas, like the center. And I fuck with everybody in town. You know what I'm saying? Everybody in town. And I just try, like, like my biggest thing is like trying to figure out how is that? So if everybody comes into the studio and we got different people from different, you know what I'm saying, sides of the town, it's like they're like all different. Like none of these motherfuckers would kick it each other, kick it with each other, regard like like if, if it wasn't for the studio. So like I pride myself in being able to create some or create a vibe to to mesh all them shits. And I feel like I'm I'm great at that shit. You, you know what I mean? But I'm you know, but I'm 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 establishing myself as a rapper, as an artist, and then as a businessman. And then, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because it takes time, you know, to, to, cause if no, you give, if you give too much, yeah, if you give too much people, like if you give people too much at a time, then they don't get nothing. You know what I'm saying? So. No, you know, I think you're doing it right. I think, you know, just uh, the way you vibe and the way you present your shit, you know, is really authentic on a real. And you're letting, and you're letting it, you're letting it fucking just ride out. Like, right. you're not rushing it. Right, you, right. You can, you can see when something is forced. Right, you know absolutely. And when you try to force shit, then that's when a lot more mistakes happen that you really can't fix. Because mm-hmm. you're, yeah. you're forcing it, and when it comes to forcing, you tend to fake some shit at the same time. Because at that at that point, you're trying to just catch up to yourself because you right. present this kind of facade of shit. Right, when right, you, exactly. When you're fucking authentic, real is just real. Yeah, it's, it's a then, story. Yeah, yeah, and then I, I think I think a big hand is that is 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 because like 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 I don't need rap. Like I I don't need music. I don't need rap. Like, I, like if I'm not making no, like, you know what I mean? I don't need this. Like, I'm doing good without it. You know what I mean? I chose to do this. I sacrificed my time and my money to create this because I love it. You know what I'm saying? So it, it so it's never gonna be rushed. Like, you, you know, it's not no, I gotta do this. Blah blah. blah. I'm, it's it's I gotta do this because I want to make something happen because I love this shit and it's it's gotta happen. But it's like. Yo, I already like I lived a life, like I figured it out, but I could I could live the life doing something I don't want, but the same the same work ethic that I applied to these other things, you know what I'm saying, either radio or, or the club, I I'm applying now to my business now. So when this because it took time for me to be great at radio. It took time for me to be great as a club promoter. You know what I'm saying? So it's gonna take time for me to be great at my own record label and shit like that. And just after two years, I'm starting to see, you know, um, I'm starting to see, you know, the, the residuals come in. So um, I'm excited for like this year and, and, and the years to come, man. And, and like you said, like, and, and I appreciate you saying it because it helps me reflect that it doesn't seem rushed. It's like, it's, it's all authentic. And that's that's what I pride myself on. Just doing this shit, um, not even the right, right, wrong way, just my way, you know what I mean? What I feel, yeah, what I feel is the 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 way I want it to be, and 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 and, and tailored to my lifestyle that I choose to 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 create, you know. No, no, no like, you know, patience is everything, bro. Yeah, and yeah. that's what you've been fucking showing this whole time is this a shitload of fucking patience, and just yeah. you know, waiting is, is part of the process, man. And you have to love the process. Like sometimes, right. once you get to your goal, it's cool, no doubt. My body right. can get you going to be happy you made it, but. The process is what you fucking learned everything from. Right, you know? right, right. But once you get yeah. to top of fucking Mount Everest, what the yeah. fuck else is there to do but come back down again? <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly. So <laughs> yeah, challenge. So 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 right now, right right now, I'm I'm in a stage where like I'm, I'm I built my base. So I, I got my base down as far as the record label, my artists, my artistry. Like like last two years, I just been in the been in the studio and I'm like confident in this. Like I'm like I feel like I'm the nicest in the studio. You know what I'm saying? Um, to where I'm now, it's like. Now I gotta get money. Like I, I gotta raise money. So I hit up all, you know what I'm saying, all, 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 all the big homies and shit like that. And it's, it, it's just another challenge when I'm sitting there talking to them, you know. And then you know, you know, we talk different money ideas and shit. So I say, okay, it's kind of like he like this idea. Okay, and it's like, all right, let me let, let me throw the music in there. Boom, I talk about the music, and then I just hear like, oh, oh yeah, that's 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 nice. Like you know what I mean? It's just like ah. Motherfucker, and then I throw, I throw another, <laughs> and then I throw another idea to say a club promoter. It's like, oh yeah, we could make hella money like that. I'm like, oh. I'm like all right, I right. say so in my head, I'm thinking like I could push that button to make money, but the thing of money is not my motive. You know what I mean? Like the music is my motive. Like 
So like I'm trying to gain, gain funding for the music, but then when I'm sitting down with all these guys with money and shit, and I, you know what I'm saying, um, talk to them about my music idea, it's just like, I, you know what I'm saying, I hit, I hit the wall and I'm like, fuck. And I say something else and they're down with that, but I, I hold off on, on that play because I know if I do that play, it's gonna take time from, you know, the music. And so that's 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 where, where, where the stage I'm at right now, because I feel, as soon as I get that funding, everything is going, it's, it's, it's just going to skyrocket everywhere. You just got to find yeah. the right partner. That's what it comes down to. Exactly, exactly. That's why you have a blue face that blows up out of fucking nowhere. And he's just mm -hmm. the hottest shit coming. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because people's got people. Or that's why you have a Post Malone that blew out, up out of nowhere. Uh, and, and then he's the hottest shit coming because it takes money and connections or whatever to get your record played all the fucking time. You know? yeah, yeah. I don't absolutely you have to be right about that. Because if 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 you don't have the right partner and it's even big enough for them to say, yo, I don't I don't like that, or that's not for me. Cause right. now you know which direction you gotta go. Cause right, he's not right. trying to have somebody the same person over and over again in the head, like, yo, this dude fucking with this music shit. And you're saying if you've seen you gain the negative part of it, great. What, then what interest you done? This this is my whole portfolio. What we're right, right. do together, fuck with me. Because either right. way, you know, we take take that take those profits and put it to music anyway. And, right, music, right. and music is a tough business. No, it's it is. It's a business. Absolutely it's a not. Fucking business. It's the hardest fucking business, and it's a it's a fucked up. I tell all my I tell all my artists, I'm like, you sure y'all want to do this? Because this shit is fucked up. You know what I mean? Like some, sometimes some of my artists get get down. Like when when the engineer doesn't show up or somebody doesn't show up to to their session, they're like all down. Like motherfucker, that's like a small piece of this music business. This music business is fucked up. It's dirty. It's it's fucked up, but. I chose this shit. I know what it is, bro. I hope I hope you know what it is. Cause I'm telling you right now, it's fuck. It's the hardest shit in the world. But I you know what it is, especially for a for a person who just wants to be an artist. Like you want to do business side and be artistry, right? But if I just want to be a fucking artist, mm -hmm. man, it's difficult for those people to transition to the business side because they just don't have the chops for it. And you gotta have, you gotta play both. And absolutely, and 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 that's what gassed me up to to go harder because um because I just wanted to be an artist, you know what I mean, type of shit. But then I I wasn't I wasn't getting an opportunity, and and it was just it just seemed like well I'm gonna let this motherfucker like take care of my business, like it, it just didn't make no sense to me, you know what I mean. So that just gassed me up to do what I did because at the end of the day, and this is before I, before my confidence as a rapper was was at, at a high now, but this is when I just started. So you know what, fuck it, I'm gonna keep rapping, and then. But at the end of the day, okay, say this motherfucker raps better than me. Okay, cool. But do you know how to market yourself? Like, you know what I'm saying? Do you live the lifestyle that I live? Do you right. do this? Oh, okay, cool. Like, well, do you have the connections that I have? No. Do you know how to do social media? No. Do you do you even know how to record yourself? You know what I'm saying? Like, no. Like, so that way I like I, I win on it on every so I'm better than you already. Right so and then say some guy that knows how to do all that and just super, but do you rap better than me now? You know what I mean? It's like I always like. Every time I feel like I'm, I, I, I always look to improve myself. You know what I mean. So that's what that's what the business side came of it. Because, um, like, if you don't got your business right, it's hard. It's hard to get your your artistry right. It's hard to free, like, do your art freely if you don't got your business right. You know, and that's and that's how I look at it now. You know. No, I think yeah. that's, that's dope. You have to, because at the end of the day, man, like, you have to go after your dream. You're the only one that can go after it. Yeah. And simple. And you, you're from. Your story so far, you you've given up something of yourself before you started making some bread off of it. Right, right, right. You know, you know what I'm saying, and that seems to be the trend. And a lot of people don't understand that. A lot of people don't understand all the sacrifices that I take. Like, I, I, I'm, I made a, I'm, I made a good living. <laughs> at, you know what I'm saying at the nightclubs. I made a lot of money. Like, I make a lot of money. You know what I mean? But I sacrificed that time and that money. You know what I mean? When I see motherfuckers like buying all kinds of shit, I'm like, what are you doing, Chris? I'm in the studio. That's what I do. <laughs> I'm in the studio. I'm in the studio. You know what I mean? Like, and like that's I, I sacrifice just to, you know what I'm saying? Just just to 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 further the journey and stuff like that. And a lot of people don't see that. A lot, a lot of people don't know people just say, like, oh, you always you always was on, you was always on the radio. You was you know what I'm saying? That's what they're gonna say. That's what they're gonna say. Oh, you've been on already. I'm like, Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, you wasn't. <laughs> you was on street team. Before then, you were just looking for a gig. <laughs> Again, it comes down to people like learning so much true story, right? And then that's what, that's why I do my podcast and to make sure I get true stories like this. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. other cats can see that, yo, 
do this guy's gonna come up. I'm trying to do that. Cause a lot of times we we tend to look at all these other interviews that people have with these superstars. Mm-hmm. You don't get yeah. to hear the honestly true story for the background of it. Right, right. Grow or grow with them. Right. So to someone to hear your story and then grow with you. Exactly. Right. Exactly. And, and witness your growth because mm-hmm. you made it such more of a personal um engagement with them because of social media. Right. We tend to give up a lot of ourselves. Even myself, you know what I'm saying? Like doing this, doing a video piece, presenting myself, presenting the podcast, it's like, yo, I'm giving up a level of my privacy. Right, right, right. And to, to make the move I want to make. And you're definitely doing that. Like you said, you 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 on so many different platforms, you're exposing yourself in so many different ways. Mm-hmm. You know, what do you, what is what does Chris Cash keep for himself? Um, just, just when I meditate, <laughs> like, like when I just, when I like, I'm, I'm doing all this because imagine, imagine, like I told you that I was on the street team and I told you that I was going back and forth from Vegas to get on the street team. Imagine if I had that shit documented, like imagine if you, imagine if you've seen that shit, like bros, like I was like going on a Greyhound bus back and forth just, just to work the fucking street team to the pass out bumper stickers. Like I, I still got like old ladies calling calling me like on the radio. I'm like Chris Cash, I remember you went to blah blah blah. You was on blah 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 and blah 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 blah. Cause I was, I did that. Like I was on I was in 115 degree weather out here in Las Vegas <laughs> with my fucking hot 97.5 t-shirt, plus passing out bumper stickers, putting bumper stickers. And I was like the hardest motherfucker working worker out there getting it. Cause I was I had a dream. Like I was like yo, yeah. I'm, just, I'm just gonna get it. I'm saying I did all that. Imagine, imagine if I had all that shit documented, all that that's just, or even even document my whole rise at nightclubs. Like you know what I'm saying? Like at the nightclubs, bro. I man, like you just it's it's crazy. Like it's just crazy. So that's why I'm I'm, I'm trying to do better at doing my vlogs and and trying to document everything. Because at the end of the day, like I want I want I want everybody to see like, nah, I put in work. Like that's that's it right there. Like. You see it every day, you know. It's the day to day shit that you see. You know, that, that, that's that's kudos to you for the hard work, bro. Like, cause you have to get up in the morning. No one's no one's fucking making you do it. Exactly. It's, it's you. And right. that, that makes you different from the people who are fucking working nine to fives and hate the gig. Right, right. There's a lot of people out there who go into a fucking office and they're cursing the, the boss out themselves out saying, "Fuck this place, I don't want to be here." Mm-hmm. They don't change it. Right, right, right. And and then that's the thing. And like, I, I, I did the nine to five route. I worked hard for, you know what I'm saying? I worked like, because that's all that, that's all we were taught. You know what I'm saying? That's all we were taught was just work hard. You'll get a good job. And then and then and then you, you'll, you'll live a good life. OK, I worked hard. I got a good job. I, you know, I made a lot of money and then I got the things that I wanted. And then I just sat there and I was like, what's next? Like, what what the fuck is next? OK, I, I got this. Like, so, like, I wanted, like, a house, you know what I'm saying? A house, a car, bins, or whatever the fuck, and the shit, like, so I got the basic shit, like, I got the baby bins, I got the different thing, and it was just like, all right, what's next? You see the better car, bigger house, more clothes, I'm like, I busted my ass for that. You know what I mean? I busted my ass just for that, and at the end of the day, it could just be all gone, like, it's just like, it's, I could just be canned, and, like, then I'm scrambling for my... And I was like, I just gotta make a decision. Like I, I made, I, made, I just made a decision. You know what I'm saying? So for the people that worked nine fives, I did that. Like I worked and I and I did well at. You know what I'm saying? I know all the politics of working a fucking job. It's not like I'm not no like I, I can't say like I was always an entrepreneur type shit. Nah, <laughs> nah. Right, right, right. You know I worked hard. I realized that wasn't the, the fucking key, and I'm trying this shit where it's like. I'm, I'm my own own boss or like your own boss type shit. And then I remember I was talking to one of my homies who, you know what I'm saying? He, you know what I'm saying? He ain't had a job for whatever, you know, he, but he still get it. And he, and then I told him like, bro, I, you know what I'm saying? I finally left my job. I'm doing this shit for real. And he was like, bro, how does it feel? Like, what do you mean? How does it feel to be a king? And I was like, feel kind of good, man. <laughs> feel kind of good, man. So yeah, yeah, you know. No, that's what's up. Cause you're right though. Like, you know, you just give yourself some freedom, but then also a lot of pressure to produce. A lot, a lot of pressure, and that's and that's why I work so hard because I know it's a lot of pressure. Because and that's why I I, I work extremely hard because I know if I fuck up, ain't nobody gonna be like, bro, you fuck up. I need to see you in my office. Like shit, it's just gonna be like, damn, I fucked up. I'm just not gonna get. 
you know, I'm not going to get what I needed to get. So that's why yeah, I just I work, work day and night uh, to, to, to get what I need to get, you know? Well, people don't understand, too. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they, they bitch about their day jobs, right? Yeah. But they get to clock out. When you're an entrepreneur, there's no, no, there's there's no, no clock, clock out. out. No, no. There's no and fucking they, weekends or vacation time you fucking take. It's just like, yo, you're right. grinding. Right, right. And and the, 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 that's one thing that I used to, like, uh, I, I used to get into with my girl about. It was like, you don't understand. You don't understand. This shit is 24-7. Like, you do your job, you go to your job, you clock out, and then it's, you're done. You don't have to do anything. Me, it's different. I'm trying to build this shit. I'm trying to build this shit for us. It's 24-7. <laughs> like, I used to just go in on that, like, just like, yeah. you understand this shit? It, you know what I mean? Like, it's fucking hard as fuck. <laughs> if nobody, if I don't do it, nobody does it. Like, I used to just go in on that. But, yeah. Absolutely. But they're fucking right, though, man. Like, it's, it does take you away from the fam, no doubt about it. Like, even, like, right now, I'm recording and, you know, I'm not sure what time we're going to be done. You know right, right, and my my time is different from your fucking time. We're on the other side of fucking of the states. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yo, it's, you got to press on. You got to make sacrifices. Yeah. But you also got to try to find. So I I don't believe in that work life balance bullshit. You I believe don't. there's some. No, nah, I don't. And this is why, right? It, nothing's ever fifty fifty. Right. right? You, even like you buy a car, right? Let's say a sports car. They try mm. to get sports cars to be as even as fifty fifty as possible, right? Right, like, right. right, possible. But they never really can. Your life right. is the same way. If you're gonna grind out and be an entrepreneur, right. you gotta figure out what percentage you're gonna grind out and what percentage you're gonna chill with family with. And that's right. your so-called balance. Whoever no, works for you for the fam. You know what I'm saying? So because so 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 what I've been doing, bro, is I've just I just been in- integrating it. Like it's just it's just no. Yeah. Like it's just it's just like I'm looking at my kids, I'm like, you you a hustler, like you <laughs> you a cat, you part of the cash money family. Like this is what you do. That's why that's why you see on my Instagram that I like I'm always like I'll bring her I I bring my daughter to the studio. You know what I'm saying I bring my daughter to to the reaction videos. If if I don't got a babysitter, I, it don't it don't stop my hustle. Like it's just like I I you know what I'm saying like she's she's around all this shit, and I you know what I'm saying like because I accept like this is our this is our this is the life I chose for us. Like you know what I'm saying you 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 were born into this family and this is what we do, and that's why I chose the partner that I have. You know what I'm saying but because she understands that too. She knows it too. Like like this is the life that we chose. And then and even when the when the money thing was 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 a thing. I was like, yo, if you want, I'm gonna get. I, I can get a job. Like, I get a job. I work. You know what I'm I can get my my job at the club again. It's like, nah, babe. Like, that's gonna take you away from your business. I'm gonna hold it down. I'm like, you know what I mean? Let's go. Like, let's go. Like, it's 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 gonna be like a thing. So I guess in in a way that that's kind of my my my. I wouldn't say it's fifty fifty. It's just it's just it's, to me it's meshed because if I, work, yeah. yeah yeah if if I'm not working I'm. I'm with the fam, like like I'm with I'm with them. You know what I'm saying? So it's just one, it's just one whole big lie. <laughs> no, that's what's up because what you're doing, you by bring your, you know, your, your daughter to set or whatever, and or to the stu- or to to the studio. Yeah, those are things that most kids don't get to experience, bro. You know what I'm saying? Right. When they get to experience, right. it's that mom or dad come home, they're bitching about work. That's exactly. What Exactly, exactly. And, and 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 my girl is like very involved in the business too. So last night we were last night well, last night this morning, we, we were up all night doing doing the uh doing the taxes for the business. So and she's actually good with numbers and shit like that. So she's like I'm fucking very unorganized, like <laughs> like I'm not good with numbers and shit. She would be yelling at me, but like she had all the expenses for the business, like all the marketing expenses, all the video expenses, all the, all, all the travel shit. All that shit organized, right? So we were going over that to like five in the morning, and you know what I mean. And then I'm like looking at all the, all the shit itemized. I'm like, yo, this shit is really dope. It's like I could see, <laughs> I could see everything I spent. I spent that much on that. Oh man, I spent that much on that. And so like it's it's a family business, you know what I mean? Right. And, right. and 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 that's what it is. It's just all one thing. Like this is this is the family business. <laughs> and that's how it should be, right? And that's that's the biggest thing I know. Culturally, for me, growing up, it was always about, hey, get the 30-year job, get the retirement yeah. plan. Yeah, me work too. Hard. But I, my parents never told me how to live. They always talk about survival right. mode and hustling. Right. And hustling mm-hmm. is cool, no doubt about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's going to give you a perspective of life, but you can't hustle forever. Right, 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 right. And you then, um, yeah, no, no, with that, I mean, like, that, that's why I always I give, give props to, to my parents, too, because our parents set the stage for us 
to be able to to do what we do. You know what I'm saying? Because they, because they, you know what I'm saying? They came from a country less fortunate, so they took the big step to get to this country. And that's fucking huge, bro. And that's fucking huge already. Yeah. And, and 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 for that you need the hard work and to but but at, at the time that they, they grew up in, the information wasn't worldwide. So they didn't know the information wasn't worldwide. The, the only information that they had was work hard and blah blah blah, work hard. And that's what they instilled in us. So we yeah. take that, we take that, but now boom, work hard principles, the foundation of it, boom, here comes the internet, here comes the information. Oh shit. shit. Now now we're gonna <laughs> Now we gonna take it. We gonna take it to the next level. You know what I mean? Now we gonna take it to the next level. Well, actually, but only a few heads would take it like that. You know what right. I'm saying? Because it's mad people who're not gonna have that drive like you. Right, you know, right, right. You know, and it's fucked up. Right. You see, you see, you see your face in your own culture, right? You know what I'm saying? Like when I yeah. came to Atlanta, they had no damn Puerto Ricans down here. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So I left New York, where I saw my face everywhere in every block. Right, so right, right. To the place and be like, yo, there's no one like me down here. Uh-huh. You know Totally fucking different. Right, right. right. And, and then you surround yourself with folks that say, no, fuck it. Let me just find my new family here. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Let yeah. me build up from scratch again. I still have my family in New York, but let mm-hmm. me build a true fam here in, in Atlanta. And right. that's what I did. I, I kept a small fucking circle of about right. my, my new friends who became my fucking family. And it wasn't mm-hmm. about them like looking at me or looking like me or anything like that or having that, right. cultural, that cultural similarity. It was about, yo, you know what? We're just gonna fuck around with each other because we we fucking trust one another. We're fucking loyal, and we're gonna see each other rise and, and level up. Right. And right. I, I had to leave some people behind. You know, what I'm saying I had to drop some folks. It was kind of hard. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's part of life, and I think a lot of people tend not to not get yeah. over the hump of letting people go. It's and, it's, a, it's a lot harder keeping them around, bro. <laughs> it, is, it is, man. <laughs> it's it's a lot harder keeping them around, and and that's one thing that that um that I was told very young that I didn't adopt till I got I got older. That just the people around you is is, you know, company you keep is it, it determines your success and your failure and shit like that. Um yeah, yeah, yeah. Like um when 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 you know I used to play ball, like I, I used to I used to hoop. I was nice, you know what I mean? Right. So so it's the same principle like like in order to get better at hooping I had to go around hoopers. Like I hung with all like like the best of the best in my in my school. And then my school is just too small. So I went to the parks. I went to the best parks in my city or whatever. I went there and I just hung there and I just chipped. You know what I'm saying? And, I, and of course I, I get, you know what I'm saying, get my ass whooped, you know, first couple times. But then just by being around the motherfuckers, you get better. Like you get better. And that's the same, the same principle I use for music, you know. Uh, that's a good yeah, challenge. Yeah. You gotta get someone who who throws a verse that makes you fucking want to think even better? Like, yo, exactly. Yeah, let me let me work on my vocabulary right now. Put some other exactly. shit. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, the, the studio that I'm at, bro. Like, just got we got so many like talented people that are different. It's like different styles. So and they'll hit you with a different style, and it's just like, oh shit. So the last two years, I was just like constantly. And then when I come to the studio, I, I come to the studio fresh. Like, I, I I recorded last night. All the shit that I put out is already put out. Some of these motherfuckers come to the studio. They 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 they've been yearning to go to the studio and and let loose. So I'm I'm in the studio when the motherfucker I got verses ready to go busting, and I'm like ah shit like I'm trying to catch up. So this was the early the early part of the years, but then at the end, at the end part of the years as, as I got you know seasoned and, and got better, I'm like I gotta tell you everybody it, it don't it, it don't matter. You can keep making new shit. I can keep making new shit. Like like it's just it's just the repetition of doing it over and over. And I my my, comp, my confidence just comes from doing it so much, doing it at, at, at a at a furious pace that I'm I'm really confident in, in that. You know you know. And that that take, that takes a long way being confident, bro. Like yeah, you got you got to get rid of your fucking insecurities up front and know like yo. It's not even about someone being better than you. It's about, you know what? I'm still going to fucking ride this bike with you. I'm going to be right there next to you no matter what. Exactly. So let's, let's get it down. You lay your verse. I'm lay mine. Right. Let's, fucking, let's, let's make this fucking money. Yeah, because at the end of the day, um, still, it's, still, it's, it's still a competition, but it's not like you're not, you're still not going, uh, like when you get on the wreck with somebody, you're not going at them directly as opposed to if it was a battle rap. Um, you're going at it as what can I add to this track? 
or what what can I do to this track to make it different or add its next flavor? You know what I'm saying? And in your own right, that's that's what a, like the competition is within myself to how can I outdo myself or what can I add to this record that's gonna that's gonna that's gonna make the record take the record to the next level. Like so, if you have a motherfucker that's just spitting like just straight bars, like punchline after punchline after punchline, I could do that too, or I could I I could do another approach. Like I could spit the punchlines, but what's his style like? Is he? You know what I'm saying I'm a hustler. So if you're not a hustler, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that in there. You, you know what I mean? Or vice versa. Or 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 if he doing if he's or if he doing or if you're doing this, maybe I could do melodies. Maybe my melody game is going, you know what I'm saying? So it's just, what can you add to the track? Um, opposed to just like, I feel like if I just go like, I'm going against you as a rapper, I feel you could make a dope record. A record would be dope. But I feel the overall uh, um, um, journey or the overall goal of a record is just to make a dope piece of art. You know what I mean? It's just tell a story. Yeah. And, and then, and, and, and that, that's, that's what I'm big on. So the two years you've been doing this, right? And you see you've been messing with some artists and like artist development and stuff like that. Uh-huh. Have you ever bumped at someone who was a badass battle rapper but couldn't make a fucking song? Um, no, not really. Because all we do is make songs here. Okay. Like, all all we do is just make songs here, you know. Because um, some some battle rappers struggle with that. They can they can diss the fuck out of you. They right, got, right. They can they, they can put it down and diss you ass, but they can't make right. it a song. They can't like you know. And, and 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 this is my thing. This is my thing. And I, I came up with this idea like a couple like a couple weeks ago. Idea was like like words are fucking powerful as fuck, bro. Mm-hmm. Like words are the most powerful. Like like I want to use my words to uplift. You know what I mean? I don't want to use my words to degrade or to 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 put someone down. That's why I never got into battle rap. That's why I never. You know what I'm saying? Did that you, you know I did it like you know like when I was young and you're just in the fucking at school and the lunch line right. you're just battle yeah. rap you snapping on people and shit like that yeah but and that's why a lot of battle rappers don't 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 make it don't make it a, a career they can't make a song because they're just so used to going after somebody like I'm going after you you know what I mean music is the music that spreads like I make music for 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 the replay value the, the shareability like is this the record that you're gonna be playing when you're driving off or you know what i'm saying or just your ride out song or this record when all, all your homies come through you're gonna put this on or is this record with, with you trying to get at this girl you're about to you know what i'm saying go to a party and holler at these girls or something like like i make those type of records or like you know what i mean that type of shit instead of just like going after like I'm, you're the opponent <laughs> i'm gonna tell you down like but but uh i noticed uh you still got to be ready for that shit you know because motherfuckers uh-huh. is going is, is going to try you and I, you know, what I'm saying I, 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 I got them bars ready to go. So, <laughs> <laughs> so have have you um you're Asian? So have you decided like or even thought of or probably already have like try to find other like underground Asian artists and try to put yeah, them on? Yeah, I'm. I mean, I mean, I, I I hear that all the time. That's like that. The, every time I talk with people, that that's the, the, the main thing that they say. You know what I mean? That type of shit. And you know, it, it comes when it comes. I reach out to everybody here. Like, like as far as anything, I'm a man first, and I represent Vegas first, and I am Asian. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't digress. I don't, I don't, uh, you know, downplay that. I'm just saying I'm here. Everybody know, like everybody in the city know where I'm at. Like I'm here every night. <laughs> you fuck with me, don't fuck with me. Asian, black, white, Mexican, Puerto Rican, like they all. You know what I'm saying? They all know it's whatever. Like it, it don't. It's not. It's not necessarily because you are Asian. I'm gonna bang your line more. You know what I mean? I hit you up more. You know what I'm saying? It's just like I hit everybody up. Everybody know where I'm at. Everybody know what I do. Everybody know my motive. Everybody know my vision. And I told everybody. Everybody in the city knows that. You know what I'm saying? So whoever gravitates to me, however, is is whoever gravitates to me. However, I'm saying it, it, it'll be dope. Like if 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 I get this individual, get this individual, and this individual, you have this style, this style, this style, and then I look. Oh wait, we're all Asian. Okay, let's play to that. It just, okay. it just so happens to be that. Absolutely. Okay, okay, let's play to that. You know what I'm saying? But I'm as far as like trying to make it go, it's sort of uh, out for you. Because at the end of the day, um, if you don't get along with a person, if the person don't vibe, it, 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 it's yeah, not, it's, not, it's, it's not gonna work. You know what I mean? It's not gonna work. Or I, if I don't even be around your ass, like I don't want to be around your ass, like yeah, yeah. But I'm, I'm just, you know, all those ideas, I'm, I'm always open to if it happens. You know. 
with the business right now, you know, 2019, you know, we're going to like, you know, the first half of the year is almost over already. Like, mm-hmm. what, what's the goals for 2019 for the rest of 2019? To get this to, to get this record million views popping, like, um, so so um, with with this single, I uh, so so I, I try to get funding for for whatever for, for the label and everything like that. So I'm meeting up with, with these business guys and shit. So I'm I'm in the office with this with this business guy and we're just going over records. He's like, bro, and and you know he said that too. He was like, yo, you should link up with some other Asian rappers and shit like that. <laughs> and I'm like, where where? So we're just going over different records. Like you can either go the trap route, you can go like like just basically we were talking about branding and and you know the same perception and, and shit like that. And we're going over different different records. And me, I have fucking five thousand million records and shit like that. So I'm just trying to think what's What's the best one to, to go? And then and then he he put on to this new wave of like artists and shit like oh look at these artists blah blah it's like it's more smooth like the sound is more smooth and then he said one thing that just just lit up he was like yeah um this guy had a show in blah 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 and there was like hella bitches there I was like wait what <laughs> <laughs> wait what he's like okay that's the route I'm going <laughs> that's the route I'm going because I don't want I don't want my shows to be filled with like. I want my shows to be filled with like like bad bitches and, and people that get money. Like, like you know what I'm saying? That like yeah. and and so that's and that's the record that, that I'm pumping right now. It's called Million Views. And it's just basically how how our our society is right now, where everyone everyone just wants the fame, you know what I'm saying? Like and and like like people are, are doing a lot of things for the gram. I do this shit for the gram, or I'm doing this shit for the gram. I'm just trying to get I'm just trying to get a million views. I'm just trying to be significant in, in you know what I'm saying in this in this form that that we live in so I'm, I'm pushing that record and the record's like more like an r&b type record um it's not me spitting bars and and that was like my big um um battle within myself because i didn't want people to think like i can't rap but i can't rap um but i want you know what i'm saying I'm, I'm trying to run a successful business here so you have to, you have to put everything out there. It has to be on the table like that. Yeah, no doubt. Because at the end of the day, and and I, I kind of, you know, what I'm saying I, I take notes notes from Drake. You know what I mean? Like like Drake, um, a lot of his records, he's singing and he's going through things. But when a motherfucker tests him, he will he will go back at him. So yeah, and yet, yet and nowadays you got to be versatile, especially since R and B is non-existent right now. Mm, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying there's really no true R and B artists like they used to be back in the day. You know right. what I'm saying? So for, for you to tap into that, why the fuck not? It's a space that's not being really played with too much. You know what I'm saying? A lot yeah. of people like hip hop has, has fucking been growing crazy. And and the internet does good things and bad things. You know, you have people who are able to come out with shit, mm-hmm. but sometimes it's trash. Right, and right, right. Get through that trash before we get to the good shit. Yeah, and, and what and what I noticed with that statement is is um um it's cause the trash is being flooded, is is flooding. But if you do have good shit, bro, and you flood that good shit, it will oh, work. Yeah. And 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 that's the that's that's our business model here at you know what I'm saying Cash Valley Music is is quantity, like because I I I don't accept no trash around here. You know what I'm saying? But but the quality is high. But if we push ourselves to to, to quantify our shit, we're gonna get better at creating content fast. You know what I mean? Right. So so I that's how the world works now. You gotta create content fast now. Yeah. People are eating it up like crazy quick. So you have no choice. They, the older artists are waiting two years to come out with shit. Right, you right, right. Are spitting shit like every exactly. Time. Exactly, exactly. And then um like I, I read a lot of books, man. So I, I read a lot of books on creativity and flow and type of shit like that. You gotta think about it like um like as far as creativity goes, like we talk about Shakespeare, and, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, but people don't realize Shakespeare had a lot of shitty plays. <laughs> yeah, he had a lot of shitty plays, but people only remember the good ones, and that's yeah. the same. Mo- and that's the same model we have over here. Like, like motherfucker, don't get self conscious, but just do rock the shit and put the shit out. Like, get the shit and put the shit out because you might think at the end of the day, is everything is subjective. At the end of the day, everything is music is subjective. This art is subjective because you might think it's trash, but the next motherfucker might think, oh, that's the hardest shit. And that's why you get a lot. Of- that's why you get a lot of trash rappers because it's trash, but then all of a sudden somebody thought it was dope and started a wave because that trash rapper is putting out a whole bunch of shit. When if you're if you're a dope rapper, you could you could put out that same level of content, bro. Like you still put out that same level of content. 
know what I'm saying? And then, and just outwork them. Like, there's no excuse for, you know what I mean? Like, I, I feel the people that just complain about all this shit is just not working hard enough. It's not working hard enough, bro. Like, so do you think that um, because they're putting out so much music so quickly, the quality is being diluted? No. Uh, you talking about who, who you talking about, though? As far as just in general, we with the new generation putting out music so fast. Like, do you feel like we've adapted that the quality is still high? Or that, hey, if they would have taken another fucking two or three days in the studio, it could have sounded even better, or more layering or whatever they need to fucking do? I think, I think, um, it's just we live we, we live in a in a in a different society like in, in, in a different a different time period because at the end of the day is you, you know when when you put something dope out and you know when it's when it's not dope but then at the end of the day you still have the 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 reality of what works and what doesn't work you know what i mean yeah, so yeah. if it, like so so what future does works and what drake does works future like this is the perfect the, the economy of it bro the future, he basically just freestyles his shit, puts it together, and throws it out. You know what I'm saying? That works one way. Drake, he still works hard, but he takes his time. He still pumps out a lot of content, but he makes sure everything that he puts out is fucking all the way. That works. That works too. You know what I mean? That's, that's two ends of the spectrum. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, no, that makes sense. I mean, you're right about that, and especially since they're two totally different styles. Yeah, and if, and if you if you if you're banking like you have like you said you have mad fucking songs banked up already, and you decide to release some shit, you can probably release a fucking song a day, and exactly. not tap into what the fuck you have. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And, exactly. And this cat with Russ, Russ had put out a song a week for a year. Right, right, right. People can't stand him. We gotta respect his game. <laughs> exactly. You know what I'm saying? He also and he also then did it. And then and the thing with me, like I was putting out I was putting out a new freestyle every day. Like every day I was putting out a new freestyle video. Like for the first two months of twenty nineteen, I was putting and, and that helped build my buzz. And then and I could do it again. Um I could push that button any time, but I need that money because I because I realized this is what I realized. So I would do a freestyle to the records before they were hot. So I worked the radio station. So I get the records so I know what's hot before it gets hot. You know what I mean? So I would do, I would rock the records and you could even check my Instagram, you check my Instagram and scroll down. You see the records that are hot. I already did a freestyle. To you know what I'm saying? I did a remix to a freestyle, whatever the fuck you want to call it. I rapped to the beat already before it got hot. If I had the marketing money to, when I rocked the freestyle, it was able to get to everybody first. Right. I would, I would be killing the game like, like more because my inner circle, my, my circle, my circle of people, they can't even hear, like, when they turn on the radio, they don't hear the radio, they hear me. But that's just my circle, because it's my, my you know what I'm saying, my fan base, my people. Yeah. If, I, if I had the marketing money to when I dropped that freestyle or dropped that thing, it was put everywhere first, um, and, and that's going to be, like, the next, as soon as I get that bag, I'm going to implement that. I mean, Wayne did it. Wayne did it. G-Unit did it. You know what I mean? Um, like, it, that model has worked. And, and will work again in the future, but you have to get to the records. You have to get the record in people's ears first. That's it, you know. Yeah, and I was, right yeah. And, and I was killing them, bro. I was, I was somebody. Somebody hit me yesterday or, or the, the other night. It was like, bro, you should have just kept those bars to yourself. Like you, you killed that because it was a remix record. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then I, I was like, bro, just three bars, whatever. But I do this. Like, it's, I, I got such a shit. Like, I'm, I have, I'm not. I'm not the type of motherfucker, oh, I got to say that for that. And because I feel creativity is ongoing, bro. Like, yeah. the, more, the more the more you tap into the abundance, the more, the more creativity you have. Like, the same way I just made that bar and how clever and fucking dope that was, I could do it again. Like, it's, yeah. that's, not, that's not a problem. You know, I'm not going to save it and, like, I'm going to wait for this. Because it's going because the next right that I do, there's going to be another vibe. And, and maybe that bar is not going to be for that. You know what I mean? So, like, that, like, so. See, yeah. but that's a testament to your, to your not being secure. That's a testament right. to the confidence you were talking about earlier. Yeah, yeah, so, absolutely. That you have that much fucking belief in yourself. Say, so, yo, nah, dude, take that. It's you. It's for you. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. That. I got plenty more shit. That could fuck yeah. Me. yeah. And and on that freestyle that, that he was talking about, I, I had a line that was like, yo, I got records for rappers that never made it. Like, just saying that, like, I rap. That's what I do. Like, it don't matter. Like, I'm not the type of motherfucker. Oh, I'm not. No, nah, we're not gonna do a record because you know what I'm saying you're not. You're not on my level. Or type of shit. It's not gonna go anywhere. Blah blah. No, I rap, bro. I do this. Like. I do this shit for I do this. Like I got records with you. 
Yeah, we got a record. And, and that's one of the biggest things that, that I pride myself and what I want to grow in Vegas is the culture of the shit. So if if anything, motherfucker ask about somebody in Vegas, be like, oh yeah, I know about him. We got a record. Like, oh, we got we got like three records. I did like three records with him. Or blah blah blah. Because that's the culture that that I wanna I wanna breed here in Vegas, you know what I mean? So no, nah, I believe I believe you can do it, bro. Because like you said, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you keep on rocking the way you're doing, bro, and, and keep it and keep it 100 the way you have you have been, you know, your success is is already prospering. It's already blooming. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? You just gotta keep on fucking watering that shit. And you got yeah, wife yeah. helping right. you out in the business as well. Like you said, it's, it's a fucking family business, bro. And yeah, you know, and she's she's filling in the gaps that you have and vice versa. Uh-huh. And that's what you want around you. Yeah, yeah, and and I tell people all the time, bro. I tell I tell people all the time. But I like I feel like I I already made it. Like I feel like I already made it. I live the life. Like I love it. My goal now is to get the five, ten motherfuckers around me to my level. Like you know what I'm saying? To I want to make them millionaires. You know what I'm saying? I want to make I want I want to be able to give that. You know what I'm saying? I want to be able to like. You know what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, it gets low. Like, you know what I'm saying? I live a good life, but if I'm doing that just by myself, bro, like, what the fuck is that, bro? I want you to get it. Like, I want you to get it. I want you to get it. I want to hit you up, like, yo, fam, I'm over here, blah, blah, blah. Like, and then everything is all good, bro, because that's, that's how I envision, you know what I'm saying, my life or my community. My, my You know what I'm saying? I, that's why I envision where my kids is going to grow up into an environment of that, where where he, where my kids got, you know what I'm saying, 10 uncles, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, with, uh, like 20 aunts, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, I, like that's what I envision, you know what I mean? So. No, yeah, I, I think that's dope. And that's, you keep on, keep, keep on, keeping on envisioning shit. Keep on fucking really like dreaming and putting that shit fucking, you know, to fruition. Cause that's what you're doing. You're dreaming, but you're taking execution behind it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And it's a big ass fucking mountain to climb, man. Fuck yeah, bro. <laughs> that, that, that's why I love it, man. Cause I lo- I love a challenge. I gotta get challenged. Uh, you, have, you have to challenge yourself, man, because that's what is life really about. Cause yeah. you one one only here but for so so long, right? And if you're not fucking doing what you fucking love, bro, right. then you're just like a worker bee. You exactly. just, just exactly. part of the, it's just part of the record population, part of right. the hive doing your shit. And that's it. You're not really even fucking stand out for yourself. Cause yeah. I think that's what people tend to mistake. Like when when you want to be entrepreneur and do shit for yourself, it's not really to do shit for other people. You want to have total control of your whole life. Right. So right. The, the day you want to fucking go on vacation for the next ten days, you don't have to fucking ask your boss like, "Yo, right, like have this week off." It's a matter of no. All right, babe, let's schedule it. Let's take it off. Oh, exactly. Let's schedule let's it. Go. Yeah. yeah. Schedule it. Let's make it happen. There's yeah. no asking nobody. It's a, a certain amount of freedom that comes with that, and it's not about being rich either. That people understand, right? Like to have that freedom doesn't take you to have money, exactly. but it does take to have smarts and control and an understand of what you need. Now, don't get me wrong, having a career is not bad either, right? That's the thing because there's mad people who make millions of dollars with a career, right? Make six figures with a career that's cool. Mm-hmm. When you're doing it in your own, like the way you are, you just have you just leveled up a different type of level, exactly. You know? You hit that them golden stars like yo, I I, I got this. Right, you know, right. So your walk is different. Your talk is different. Mm-hmm. No doubt, you have more pressure. No doubt, you fucking work harder than ever. You probably working more hours than you probably ever had working for somebody else. Absolutely. The, the difference is that you're doing it for your fucking self. Mm-hmm. Yep. 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 And then, and I ask people all the time, like everybody to come up. I be like, what what do you want to do? Or like I ask them, like no cap, what do you want? What will make you happy? And then, and like, cause I always want people around me that, that are doing what they like. I, I don't make nobody do anything like in the company that, that they don't want to do it. Like, if you don't want to do it, just say you don't want to fucking do it, bro. Like, I don't, you know what I'm saying? That's fine. Right. <laughs> I don't want you here if you don't want to do it. Like, I'm not making you do nothing. I'm not, I'm, I really don't want to do it, but I'm doing it. Cause I, at the end of the day, I really, I want the whole company to work. You know what I'm saying? Everything to work. So, so that that's why I do it. So that's why I ask people like like you know, say some people say yo I I'm, I really I want to travel the world doing what we love to do or I want to do this what we want to do like those are the answers that, that 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 I love you know. And that and that's how it should be, bro. That's yeah. how it fucking should be. That's how again you wake up in the morning and then you say yo you had it on the studio every day someone knows what the fuck you are you're in the goddamn studio. Yeah. And that's where you know your heart and your mind and 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 your creative process is gonna be. Yeah. Why be any place fucking else? You know right, right. Like, like you already knew, you probably could have went further in your radio career. 
Absolutely. I could have been on Power 106. I could have been on, uh, like, like you know what I'm saying, on the, the top radio station. But that, that wasn't where my heart was at. You know what exactly. I mean? That's what people have to understand. But, but, it, but it also played a part for the music because it's music-based. And I gave you a lot of inside scoop how the industry fucking works. And and so my my pe- I don't know if, I don't know if they're my peers or not, but the people that I work with, because I've been in, in in radio a long time, the people that I work with all went to go follow because their hearts were in radio. And when I, when I was talking when I talked to them when I was in the radio station radio world, I could see in their eyes like that's what their passion. They like they they dreamt of being on radio and just got hyped and passionate. And they go on, bro. They're, they're on Power 106. They're on the number one radio station. They're on, they're on, you know what I'm saying, the top radio stations in LA, like top of the top, doing what they love to do, to do. And it's just like, that's what's up. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what's up. You know? Yeah, if you, if, you, if you go after it, no matter what it is, that is what's up. Yeah. That's the yeah. point right there, bro. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. It. So what what is your night gonna be like tonight? Obviously, you're in the studio. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm in the office. Uh, you know, a bunch of guys went in. We're doing, we're, we're focused on our reaction videos because, uh, um, um, we're, we're shifting our, our, our focus towards, um, first it was Instagram. So we locked down Instagram and just got a good rhythm of how we're going to produce content through Instagram. Right. And, and we've done well through that. And then, uh, now we're building our, our YouTube, um, um, fan base now or, or, content through youtube because one remember i told you i had that meeting with that one business guy um so we were in his office all my shit was on ig you know what I'm saying? all my shit was on ig so we're in his office so he's on his computer like okay what, you, what record you talking about i was like oh fuck well it's on spot like it let me like i was like oh fuck everything that we looked at was on youtube i was like oh this motherfucker's just okay and then i'm thinking anybody with a desktop or a thing or or for searchable like you're on because YouTube is the number one search engine. Yeah. And, and then YouTube and Instagram are like I feel are the two biggest platforms as ours. Because the reason, reason why we gravitated towards IG first was because it was like every time you thought of a dope artist, you're like, what's his IG? Every time you, you thought of you thought about somebody new, first thing coming to mind was what's his IG? Yeah. What's his IG? You know what I mean? So so we we learned that. Um, and, and this is the, this is the part of, of, of our media company that, that, that came out. So we do a lot of, you know, you know, metrics and analytics through, through, you know what I'm saying, through, through social media and shit like that. So we learned that, rocked it, boom, it's good, it's dope, IG popping, getting a lot of, you know what I'm saying, people through IG, cool, what's the next thing? Boom, YouTube, and then I was just trying to figure out a way to produce a lot of content through IG that, that or through YouTube that made sense. Cause we were doing a lot of like the, the freestyle videos and shit, but right. they weren't getting enough traction, you know, that I wanted. So we started doing podcasts and reaction videos, the reaction videos, like, you know, so, and then, and what I learned is like, whatever's working, you go ahead and triple down on what the fuck is working. Absolutely. So, so within that, so hopefully with the reaction videos and the reaction videos that we do, we don't just react to anything. We don't just react to like, this guy taking this shit over here. We don't, it, it's, you know what I mean? It's not, it's still music based. You know what I mean? So it's music right. based. So, so the people that are watching the reaction videos are music consumers. So what better, where, what better way to start filtering our music by creating an audience of music consumers? So Makes that's, sense. that's like the, the complex reason why I'm doing reaction videos. And reaction videos is fun and they get a lot of people and with our shit and I talk shit. No, no, people love when you're right about the two platforms. Like uh, I found myself this month, um, I have one of releasing my YouTube channel for the podcast. Uh-huh. So you know what I'm saying? And then now and I started doing video conferences. Before it was just strictly just audio. Right, now, right, right. I do IG, I do a little snippet, and then from there we can find me on iTunes and send it to other platforms, right? Yeah, and I was yeah. like, Well, I gotta expand my content. How mm-hmm. can I, what can I do? And I said, you know what? I'm gonna start doing the video joints. Because you know, even though YouTube is cool, you know, and iTunes is cool, you know, if you're, if you're, it's just a different way to consume it. If, I, if I'm working out, I can do the iTunes thing. I right. can't read really YouTube on it. But if I'm just chilling at the crib, I may want to see a video. Exactly. I may, may want to see the person that he's talking to. Or right. That y'all can make that fucking connection. And that's what I has to do. So now right. like, you know, you're one of the first three videos I started doing already. So, you know, so, so you're, you're, you're right there with it. And the goal again is to, like you said, man, 
learn how to how your content moves people and then mm-hmm. just double down on that shit. And exactly. Keep it, and then understand that that's going to change too. But you mm-hmm. have to be ready to kind of be swift and maneuver with that and go after it because you just can't get stuck on stupid and be like, I'm just going to do this the rest of your lives, right? Exactly. It's like, exactly. It's like the, whole, the whole challenges or when all these people were doing these couple pranks and shit. It's kind of whack now. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Right. Um, so it's, 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 it's about the movement. It's about looking yeah. at what's and how people are consuming. What's the next generation? What are they going to consume and right. change with and how you flow with that? Yeah, and then and also to add, add with that is also like I always will take into account is like branding and and um and, and how I'm I'm marketing myself or my brand and everything like that because like you were saying, people do, were doing pranks just to get the views. You know what I'm saying? Just to get right. you know what I'm saying thing. But then now you got a whole audience of people that see you as this prankster, and then you know what I'm saying, or just or just doing stupid shit or whatever. And then now you want to rap some like fucking hard shit or like some. <laughs> It's just, it's just, it's, it's, hard, it's yeah. hard to make that transition. You know what I mean? So I was, that's, that's why I'm, I'm very conscious of the type of, of, of content I put out. So with the reaction videos, just, just from me being on radio, I know how to, I know, the whole radio experience really just uh, help uh, cultivate, you know what I'm saying, me creating these reaction videos and, and organizing, and orchestrating in, in, in an organized manner to where, I feel as an artist, I could still um, do the reaction videos and I, we can still be able to put our music into it because you, you, you see a lot of interviews with artists, they'll ask an artist about another, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, what do you think about blah, blah, blah. And then they, they, they'll give their two cents and shit like that. So, so you know, I'm, I'm playing with, I'm, you know, playing with these, that type of thing. Cause at the end of the day, it's like, I'm not doing it just for the fame. I'm not doing it for that. It's the, the music, the, the ultimate goal is to get our music heard you know what I mean? and, so, that, and, and you're making that full connection that's what i love about that what you're saying right now because what you're talking about is 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 showing the, the people your fans your audience a different side of you right and then they're going to make that connection and if someone makes that connection they're going to fuck with whatever you're doing right. So you, ha- right you have the merch i'm gonna buy your fucking merch a new album drops i'm gonna pick that shit up or right, a new right. reaction video comes out i'm gonna go watch that shit and right. you keep on hitting them all the content they're gonna keep on following you and you can you can have a hundred thousand people following you, but they're not they're probably not active an active audience. You can have five people five thousand people following you, yeah, four thousand active people that would do more than hundred grand. Real talk, that's real <laughs> talk. And, and 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 that's why I try to tell everybody too, like don't get caught up in the fame and, and, and the numbers yeah. and shit. At the end of the day, it's just your fans. You show up like if if we <laughs> if we because and then, like if we do a show. Who's gonna show up? You know what I mean? Yeah. Or if, if you post a piece of content, who's gonna comment on that shit because they want to comment, not because you're saying you have to comment. I'll comment back. Like no, like you know what I'm saying. Like it's it's all about cultivating um, um, that connection with people. And and I tell everybody all the time, like yo, you got you got to get on your phone all the time and just chop it up with like like you know say you gotta do that. You gotta you know what I'm saying touch base with your fan. And now now with fucking IG, the video call, I, our video message everybody i i do yeah, what i can yeah. to do it because i learned that shit through club promoting club promoting all day every day the whole day all day i'm talking to i'm talking to girls all day like all day yo you coming to the club chopping up with them uh, blah making sure they get like all day i'm talking so i'm taking what i learned there to my music you know what I mean? it's just you gotta be you gotta be a real person man like and, no, you and, do, bro. And, and it's so much better than, than than back in the day because back in the day you had to physically go out there, <laughs> go out, meet the person, and physically hand them a CD or whatever the fuck to get the music. Now you can sit at a motherfucking office. Not only can you text them, you can call them, you can video chat them, you can send them all kinds of type of shit, and you can give them the music right there. You know what I'm saying? Like like in a way we, we got it better. Just you know what I'm saying? People just gotta really just hustle. Like there's no fucking excuse. Like anybody yeah, that you, you could premiere your next EP on, on fucking YouTube and just have a whole have a whole fucking party and record that shit on YouTube live and say, oh, this is my fucking premiere. Like right. the access that we have now, bro, for technology is ridiculous. Yeah, 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 so, yeah. And I love it. I love it. And that's why that that's why it gassed me up so much to even go harder and harder, because there's no excuse. If 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 shit's not clicking, it's uh, it's because I'm not I'm not doing something right. I need to figure something out. And I always I always put responsibility on myself. I never blame nobody. Like it's like if shit is not going right, it's because I'm not. Uh, it's my fault. 
figure that shit out, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> but that's yeah. a real entrepreneur. That's what real entrepreneurs do, though. Yeah. Cause there's no place. There's, no, there's nobody else to fucking blame. Right. And if you are an entrepreneur, you blame somebody else, then you're really not a fucking entrepreneur. You're not. Right? You're not. You're not about this life. <laughs> no, you're not. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a grind, bro. Like, yeah. you know, I, I got to work too. So I still have a fucking day job. I'm still doing. I'm still doing this. You right. Know, right. But you have to keep on grinding. You have to keep on yeah. happening. You just can't like, do it sometimes. Cause if you did, right. if you did hip hop every once in a while, that's a fucking hobby. Exactly, exactly. And 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 I tell people all the time, like like when people like come to me and they 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 start saying personal shit, I'm like fam, like I understand what you're saying. I'm here for you, but like like the game don't care, bro. Like uh-huh. you don't like all that shit that you're saying. So what? Like if you didn't show up to your show or you didn't show up, or if you didn't do the work, it didn't get done. No one cares, bro. That that you're going through all this shit. Like if if you really are going through some shit, bro, take the time off and get that shit right, bro. Take the time off and get that shit right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because like you said, doing the half ass shit is not it's not gonna get. If you win this game, you gotta be in this game. Then like with all like like with a lot of the personal shit that I go through, I still show up to the office and I you know what I'm saying like and I. I I finish the job. I get the job done. Like I you have to. And then, and then later on, when I get my own time, I, you know what I'm saying. I, I deal with the personal shit. Like, you know, I do what I need to do to get through it. But I, I never come. I never come to nobody. But like, oh, bro, I just uh, well, over this me type shit. Yeah. 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 yeah no, nah. it's good. You have time for that shit. Because if you did, then you won't be doing what you're doing. You won't be at where you're at right now. Exactly. Right exactly. You know what I'm saying. Exactly. You, keep on, you keep on fucking pressing on. You keep on putting cats on, that's why people are looking up to you that way, bro. You know what I'm saying? You're like, you're that, you're like that big brother motherfuckers in the hat. You know what I'm saying? Don't have. So they learning from you whether you know it or not. You know right, so right, you're, right. You're motivating, inspiring people whether you know it or not. And that's not, right, even, your right. fucking, that's not even your fucking goal. That's just a fucking cherry on top. Right. And then, and then and at the end of the day, too, they're, 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 they're motivating me, too. Yeah. Like, just, it's just, just, absolutely. Yeah, just to see where they at, because it takes me back to like that's where I was at. You know what I mean? And it gives me back that that sometimes you know you, you get to a certain point, you either get complacent or you just this is way, but just being able or or you just get another perspective of things, and then just takes you back like oh yeah, motherfuckers out here really. I remember that. All right, all right, bro, this is what you got like. You know what I mean? So and it motivates me because now I feel. I feel like I'm needed, so you know what I mean. I feel like I'm significant, and that motivates me. So they're they're, they're helping me as much as you know I'm I'm helping them. You know, no, I'm just a fucking loody, bro. And it's powerful when you watch someone level up. You know what I'm saying? When you mm-hmm. see someone fucking just coming on up, and and you witness their fucking grind, you're like, I can fuck with them. Holy shit, I I, I can definitely yeah. have this person around me. And then you take them under your wing, like, you know what? Let me show you some more. Let me let me put you onto this. Right, right. So, and as minorities, we don't tend to have that. Right, right. You know what I'm so, saying? Yeah. so to give back when you see someone like that, like, you know what? I didn't get it, but I'm gonna, definitely going to make sure I fucking give it in return. And that's how you yeah. fucking, fucking give back. You know exactly, it's exactly. Little shit like that. It's not always monetary shit. I think that's what people can confuse with. It's not, you right. know, because as, as, as hip hop, we've always been seeing the fucking about the bag. You always seen mm-hmm. about all the cars and shit. Yeah. You no, know, but the, the fancy houses. Yeah. And but they don't never talk about how long it took them to make that fucking album in the studio, how hard it was, right. how many tracks they fucking dumped because it wasn't right for the fucking shit, how many times the studio or the fucking label told them, yo, redo it. They don't right, talk right. about that part of it. Well, we, right. we and the result we get is on the spectacle. Like yeah. you can start talking about the grind like you are right now. Like it's right. hard fucking work. Yeah, like, exactly, exactly. That's what people need to fucking know. It's not that fucking easy. Right, and that's what, and that's why I, I produce uh, so much different co- content in so many different forms because it's also it's it's also y'all uh, as a as a, as a guy as a guy that um is has has been in the media like as far as radio like so I understand the radio media game you know if I'm in a certain forum so if I'm on the radio I'm gonna say like if I'm on the radio hot ninety seven five I don't have time to talk like this you know what I mean right but you have this outlet to talk like this. Say if I'm on the radio, nobody. If I'm on the radio, Hot 97.5, playing the hottest records, nobody want to listen to me talk about the grind and nothing like that. They want to, you know, what I'm saying. So, so when I'm on the radio, I'm talking about, yo, we gonna turn up, we gonna do this, it's going down. This is the next hottest record, it's going down, blah blah. blah. That's just one. You know what I'm saying? Because people feel like that. People feel right. like going out. People, you, that's real. That's still me. You know what I'm saying? 
But then when we get to another form, I'll break it down to you like, yo, man, this is what I had to do. And you know what I'm saying? Like that, because that's another form. And that's still me. And that's still real, too. And um, as long as we're able to express ourselves and shit like that, and that's what, and that's, if anything, if music shit don't, don't pan out or whatever the fuck, just the fact that I'm able to express myself and it's out there and people know what it is and I can refer back to it, that's already winning. Like, to me, that's already winning. Like, and I tell that to everybody too. I'm like, yo, if, if you're doing it, just like, even if you just do it for that, just to like genuinely express yourself and get your ideas out where I know what you're talking about and he knows what you're talking about, and then you can refer back, bro, that like, you already won, bro. Like, you yeah, won yeah. already, bro. Was, you're actually right about you that a thousand yeah. times. No, you're actually fucking right about that. You definitely won. And even if you just stay in the underground circuit, you can still make bank. Ex- that's exactly. What people, that's what people understand. Like, you don't exactly. need to be the whole fucking Grammy nominated motherfucker or shit like that. Exactly. You can exactly. be touring the fucking world, which many even rock groups have done that plenty of times where exactly they have the underground um fucking audience that stays with them throughout their fucking career as, as an mm-hmm. artist. They travel the fucking world, right. touring, make their fucking bank. And guess what? They live a nice. Right, you know right. And, and they yeah. continue to fucking live the life they want as being a fucking artist. And mm-hmm. That's what people need to understand. Like, no doubt. You're gonna have some people who rise up, who gets caught up, and 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 the matrix kind of picks them. You know what I'm saying? Right. Exactly. But other than that, because of social media, because of the internet, it's seven billion people on this planet. Hip hop is worldwide. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Your audience could be where the fuck ever. So let's say you're not man, you have to be popping in the states. Motherfucking Germany may fucking love you. That may be your biggest fucking audience in Germany. Right. You better get your ass over there and fucking tour in Germany. Exactly, exactly. You better go get fucking sell some merch, bro, and get some strings. And, and you, you know what I mean? Like it's and, and that's why it's so beautiful. And that's why and that's why I always ask people, what's what's your goal? Like what will make you happy? Like what's you know what I'm saying? And and, and if I tell them like, oh oh money, I just want to get money. But this ain't for you, bro. Like, no, nah, there's other ways. It's like there's a hundred thousand businesses that are way better to get money. Like, trust me, I've done them. <laughs> right. I've done, you, you know what I mean? Like what, like, that's why I was asked because at the end of the day, like you can, like, I'm doing it, bro. I'm doing it to create a culture, bro. I'm doing it to, uh, like I said, have a platform to express ourselves and a platform to share our, our stories with people. And you know what I'm saying? And, and a, a, a guideline for, for the generation to come, like, like right. the shit, the shit that I'm doing, like the, the shit, like all those songs I record, I can always refer back to them. My kids can listen to them. You know what I mean? And and know who the fuck I am. You know what I mean? And and the stories and whatever got me. And so when they see whatever success I have at that point, well, how did he get it? <laughs> listen to the music. <laughs> Cause I'm saying it through all this other shit. Cause that's all I was thinking at the time. You know? Yeah, bro. Yeah. yeah that, that's straight up, bro. Like. You said a lot of shit tonight. You said a lot of good shit about entrepreneurship, about confidence. You know, you you broke down about processes. Like everything you you pretty much fucking saying is 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 what well, a lot of people have been talking about for fucking many years. That actually went through it, mm-hmm. and and you being fucking authentic the way you are, bro, is fucking great to see. I'm fucking hat off to you, bro. Like Thank you. You, you you're mad proper. Like you fucking know exactly where you're headed to, and you're a fucking inspiration to mad cats out there. On the real, whether you know that shit or not, bro, I'm fucking putting that stamp on you right now. You know what I'm saying? Because that's that's you got you got to show respect when respect is needed. You know what I'm saying? And you know, when someone is dope like as yourself, you know, someone has to let you know, yo, I'm gonna fuck with you. I'm gonna right, support right. you. Like, I'm gonna support you for life now, bro. Like you know what I'm saying? Like this is now now we fam. Right. That's what's so, up, man. So support level is gonna be there. You know what I'm saying? My IG becomes your IG now. Right, you know what right. I'm saying? And yeah. That's how that's how it needs to be. Right, like we're right. gonna really fucking be true to each other. That's how we all need to fucking be with one another. So yeah, be, everybody can fucking prosper. Yeah, Point yeah. Three. And and then I got I gotta thank you for you know what I'm saying inviting me to do this. Like I know this is like your third video, but you like like I said you you created the form and the outlet. It's a, you know what I'm saying you created the platform for this type of thing because I didn't have no outlet to. You know what I'm saying I have different outlets and stuff like that, but I've never done something like this. So hats off to you for having the idea and following up and everything that that you do because. Like 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 you said, it's a grind. It's a sacrifice that you that that we took to to make this happen, and we did it. So hats off to you for for that doing this, bro. And because it's it's people like you that's that's gonna that's gonna you know, like like you said, like I'm motivated. You're motivating, you know, people without even knowing it. You know what I mean? So man, hats off to you too, man. No, no, I appreciate that. Because my, my goal, like I say, everybody, my podcast 
is for the people. That's right. why I call it Giant Nomad Presents. Right, you know right. Saying? It doesn't even belong to me, it belongs to you. You know right. what I'm saying? So whenever you want to come back on, you just hit me up like, yo, I got something to say. It could be about fucking anything. You could be upset, right. happy, you want to promote your new shit. I got you. You know what I'm saying? Right. That you're gonna be number fucking yeah. 45. You're gonna be number episode 45, probably. I gotta see which one I'm at now. But yeah, right. like, like, yeah, you know yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's all good. It's all love, man. You're one of the first three that I put on as a video now, because that's that's why I'm ahead of that. Again, yeah. it's always about the fucking growth. Yeah, so, absolutely. I go always to fucking travel. That's so why I got people in, in Vegas. Shit, I'm in Vegas. I'm gonna shoot you, a, I'm gonna hit you up. Like, yo, it's all good. You're in a spot. If you're in Atlanta, you come through. Fuck, I'm making some fucking rice and beans and fucking. <laughs> as long as I got some tapatio on it, bro. Oh, yeah. You exactly. <laughs> understand, bro. I grew up, I grew up in Santana, fool. Like, I grew up, I grew up. <laughs> and so, I, you know what I mean? I know about that. <laughs> like, yo, and that's what it's about just fucking showing the love and uh-huh. sharing the knowledge. Yeah. And, and, and that's what you fucking did today. And so many people are going to hear this shit. They're going to see you in a different way. They're going to yeah. hear about your grind. And see how fucking smart of a man you are and the sacrifice that you put, not just for yourself, but for your family. You know what I'm saying? Because right, right. you have a ride or die with you. Not too many shorties can handle that. Right, 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 right. Well, yeah. well, well, to add to that, man, like all I do want all I want to do is get money and fuck bitches and do drugs, bro. That's, <laughs> that's... <laughs> Yeah. Bro, I ain't that deep, bro. All I want to do is turn up, get money, fuck bitches, and do drugs, bro. Come on, man. <laughs> I ain't that deep, man. We're just going to say. <laughs> I live that Vegas life, man. It's in city, man. Let's not get it twisted, man. I ain't no angel. I ain't, <laughs> I ain't, I ain't no angel, man. So. <laughs> That's That's Keep it real, bro. Yeah. Keep it real. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm gonna hold you up. I know you got people waiting in to hit the studio. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yo, thank you. Thank you for breaking it down tonight. You know, everyone, this is Giant Nomad Presents, and this is Chris Cash. Cash Yeah. Yo, I'll hit you up, bro. All right, brother. Thank you. All right, peace. Peace.